And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup, and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod, Rick Maxa. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup right here next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma, and we have a couple of great guests today. Rosie and Jeff Flowers from Cedro Sport Fishing are here. We're going to be talking some Cedro fishing. Yes, they're back open. And we're going to be talking some fantastic experiences down at this great island. You stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the mightier 1090. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone. Whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a Sport boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Filet knives shouldn't be disposable. Introducing Aftco Filet Knives that are built to last. Designed in collaboration with Boker Germany, Aftco Knives feature 4116 German stainless steel bonded with titanium nitride to ensure optimum corrosion resistance and exceptional edge retention. A non-slip TPR handle maintains a firm grip when processing game fish. Premium in every sense, Aftco Filet Knives are available in multiple length options to provide the right tool that gets the job done season after season. Filet Knives from Aftco. Any fish, any water. There are plenty of boat slips and marinas in San Diego, but there's only one Kona Kai. It's not just a place to park your boat. It's a way of life here in America's finest city. The Kona Kai Resort Spa Marina has multiple swimming pools and a private beach, waterfront restaurants, and award-winning spa, most of which is included for marina tenants. Check ResortKonaKai.com for more information. The Kona Kai Resort, much more than just a place to park your boat. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup, man. Like you said, what a great day to talk about one of my most favorite places to go fishing in the whole world at Cedros. Going to be a great day today. All right. Yeah, it is. Uh, Rosie and Jeff Flowers from Cedros Sport Fishing. Good morning. Hey guys. Good morning. Good great morning. Great. Bring that mic nice and comfortable there to you, Rosie. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, turn it up a little bit. And right. We'll uh, make sure people can hear you. And uh, great to have you here. And uh, so, Cedros. Cedros. After, after a year. After uh, <laughs> Thank God. A, a COVID year last year where you couldn't go, now you can go. Now we can go. Yeah. We are up and running. The The airport is repaired and open. Awesome. Uh, it is. It's open. Oh, the airlines has been flying in for over a month. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, they're back to their normal Great schedule. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. And, and so when do trips start? Uh, first trip departs on May 30th. We do have openings. I think we have eight spots on that Whoa, trip that just opened, nice. okay. just opened up. So, and then uh, a couple spots open on the the July or the July. Let's talk. July. Let's yeah, really. I'm surprised. Good time of year too. 
Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a good time of year to go. That is for sure. Yeah, that's so, fantastic. What yeah. about the August Let's Talk Hookup trip? Booked and waiting list. <laughs> waiting list is booked. Why, why is August more popular than July? I, I, you I, know I, what? I, it's just everyone that's on the trip ha- now has a buddy that wants to go on the trip. Oh, so sure. everybody is like, well, you know, so-and-so is going and I want to go. It's like, yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, June, July, August, they're all good months. They're all good. Actually, that first trip in May, the May 30th trip, not last year, obviously, but the year before, that trip proved to have some of the biggest yellowtail of the season. No wow. kidding. Yeah. Cool. And they bet. were deep. They were deep, yeah. but they were big yellowtail. But I'll bet calico fishing was insane. Oh, it's off the hook. Yeah. yeah. Off the hook. Yeah, yes. yes. And that stuff's been un- basically oh, untouched man, for imagine? a year. Can, can you, you imagine? imagine? Oh, well, be you know, so good Captain this year. Javier has been sending us pictures. Yeah, well, Javier's been fishing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's been sending us some pictures. It's like, oh, dear Lord, these things are growing. Can yeah. you imagine so cool. a year not being touched? Touched. Yeah, that's Amazing. gonna be awesome. Well, I'm sure awesome. the island people are just gonna be is elated to have visitors back. You know what? They're besides themselves. They yeah. are just so excited when we said, "Okay, we're we're gonna be able to do this." They were just so excited. Yeah, it's like here we go. You know, the come on down. They said family, family. They kind of saying, bring family. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Cedros is family. That's so. cool. So w- explain a trip to Cedros. Where is it? For those of our listeners that may not, sure. what, what is Cedros Sport Fishing? Where is it? How do you get there? What's the program? Right on. Okay, so Cedros is a nice little island. Actually, the island's not that little. It's about the size of Catalina. And it's about 310 miles south of San Diego. Uh, we have a lodge that sits on the lee of the island, so the weather's really nice over there right on the cliff's edge uh we have a direct flight that goes to the cbx in otay mesa california wow that and that is a game changer there that not only is a game changer but we are working it's 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 not completely there yet but we are working on instead of the first leg of the trip flying from cedros to tijuana getting our anglers down there even earlier and starting off in tijuana and then flying to the island and then bringing the people that are on the island home. So that would get our anglers down there maybe about 10, 1030, which would give them a true nice little fishing, half day fishing yeah. starting at noon, maybe to four o'clock on okay. that day. Ah. So just getting so you're down trying there to earlier. Get the, the, the other group home earlier. No, getting no. the group that's going down earlier. earlier. I got you. So that way they can get settled in. They can yeah, have yeah, lunch. Yeah. They can... So right now the guys on the island basically fly home, and then that plane takes the new the new group in. Correct. You should do that in reverse order. Correct. Okay. So if we do that in reverse order, that'll give um, the anglers going down there. They don't have to rush to get if they're f- half day fishing. Right. To get their gear situated and together, they can take that at a leisure. And if they decide to fish, they can fish. If not, they can um, you know wander about the lodge and, the, and have a couple of cocktails. And the guys on the way home, same deal. You don't have to rush to get all your gear you packed up. You don't have to up. rush yeah, to get. Up. Yeah, nice yeah. leisurely thing. Have yeah. breakfast. You're hang still out. on vacation. Yeah, yes, exactly. Still on yeah. vacation. Cool. And then you know, we'll probably get those guys back. I don't know, maybe noon, one o'clock, and mm-hmm. on the way home they go. Perfect. So, uh, the lodge. Describe the lodge and what it's like, and then the fishing. Okay, so um, our lodge holds twelve. So we are a very quaint lodge, very family oriented. Uh, six rooms, two per rooms, uh, a nice little dining room that sits on the cliff's edge. Uh, we eat family style. Uh, we have uh, thirteen um, people at our lodge that take care of you. We have twelve guests and thirteen people. thirteen people that take care that of take care of you. Wow, cool. exactly. And the food is insane. Both Rick the and food I is been there. fabulous. Like, yeah. the food is fabulous. Best pozole ever. Ever. Yeah. ever. Yeah. Yeah. It is good pozole, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, I remember Grant Christensen telling me, Rosie, you've got to have the pozole. It's like, yeah. I've had it. It's good. It's good. Yeah. It is very good. Yeah. Um, so basically, you know, you uh, get on down there and um, our uh, crew picks you up at the airport. Um, once you get off the off the um off the airplane, you basically never touch your stuff again. Yes. Our crew picks it up, takes it to the lodge. It's about a 10-minute drive to the lodge. They get you situated in your rooms. They'll even help you put your gear together. That's yeah. cool. And, so um, dialed. Yeah, and they just they take care of you. It's your time to relax. It's time to hit the easy button. 
and relax. It's your vacation. Yeah. So, and and yeah. then, of course, the fishing. You have the the best captains on the island, right, Jeff? Oh, oh by far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You fished a lot down there. Uh, a few times. Yeah. A few times. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and and, uh, and and there's so all the guys are really knowledgeable. Yes. They they a lot of them have grown up on the island. Yeah. They know that place like the back of their hand. So if uh, for some reason the current goes slack, yellows disappear. They know okay, we're going to go fish the bass over here. Or we'll try something a little bit more inshore, halibut, you know, yeah. the, the big white sea bass, or stuff up on the north end. So there's always something to catch. Yeah, and then uh, options to when the weather's right, you can run over to Benitas and uh, absolutely and, and get over there and see that magical place. Yes, right? the Jurassic Park of Calico Pass. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that place is crazy. Yeah, so, so that's, very good. It, it, it's such a great operation, and and making it out of CBX uh, that was the walk, key. Walk across rather than driving down to Ensenada mm-hmm. and and sitting and waiting. Uh, that's a game changer. Though. Not only is that a game changer, but then coming back across the border oh, yes. and not knowing if you're going to have an hour wait or a four hour wait. Yeah. You just didn't know. Yeah. So now we know. Yeah, it's so sweet. You guys did such a good job streamlining. Like, you took a place that had so few, you know, it was all pros and very few cons, and you just took away took the away couple the of negatives. Yeah. Well, and I'll be honest, I think it was you guys. You guys were the ones that suggested the CBX to us. Yeah. And that's when we learned about it, went and checked it out, and said, "Oh my goodness!" Yeah, it just yeah. runs so smooth. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is. It is a smooth deal. And, and the nice thing is, is you walk. If they continue to have COVID uh, requirements, f- flying back into the U.S., you don't need that. I was you say, know what? What's, what's the deal with that? That oh. is my my biggest call right now. My sure. number one call that is coming in daily. People are saying, "Well, what do we do? We have to have a COVID test before we fly back to the U.S." And it's like, hey, guys, um, you're not flying back into the U.S. You're flying you're into flying the, to the doorstep. Yeah, you're, yes, you're, <laughs> you're exactly. walking. You're flying and you're walking door. across. If you, I encourage you to pull up the CBX website on the front page. It says there are no restrictions as far as needing a COVID test to come back into the country because you are walking across the border. But you do have to have your health questionnaire, which I fill out for you. Okay. And I, you will be in your packet as you go down to Cedros. And then um, on the way back, when you come back into Tijuana International Airport, there's a little booth there that you will need to hand in your health packet. And that's, and that's it. That's cool. It. That's, yeah. It's simple. And, and uh, as far as uh, requirements for COVID testing before getting on the island, none. We're still working on that protocol. So I tell everyone that has had you know, their vaccines, make a copy of that. Okay. And then uh, we may need a... Um, a COVID test before you go, but with the way things are going right now and everyone's getting their vaccine and the numbers are really going down, yeah. we may not. So sit tight. We'll get back with you on that before you guys go on your yeah. trips. But there, there's a possibility. You Absolutely. There's a possibility. You yeah. Bet. Yeah. Which you is bet. just to protect the people on the island. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because Absolutely. there's been so many COVID cases on yeah. Cedro. So what, what's the, the number up to? Like six. basically not. Yeah. yeah six. In the virt- whole, virtually the whole virtually nothing for the whole island. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So pretty, cool. Pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. So what do you like about it, Jeff? What's your favorite part about going down there? Oh, just a total disconnect. You know, yeah. you're, you're getting away from uh, the cell phone. You're getting away from the work grind. You're heading down to probably one of the most picturesque places that you could fish from in Mexico, in my opinion. Um, the lodge is situated just perfect. You can walk down to the beach if you want to and go fish the beach. You can just hang out and just, just enjoy the evenings. Food is fantastic. Sleeping accommodations, you know, showers in the room. Uh, everything's taken care of. Yeah. It's it's yeah. been well thought out, and and people down there that that are working with us, Javier and his group, and then all the the people that work at the lodge, they just they'll do anything to make you happy. If you want to jump in the truck and take you into town, and you want to go look around, get in because we're going to go for a car ride, which is two minutes away. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah you can walk there probably about as fast as it as you can <laughs> if you just wait to get in the truck to drive over there. But uh, world class fishing, biggest yeah. yellows I've ever caught. Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and gone over the rail with. Uh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's a story. Let's hear that story. Uh, well, you know, the name it, it, of our personal trip is R.H. Overboard. Yeah? Okay. Because R.H. went Rosie's husband. overboard. I, I, do, I do have to clarify. It was not due to a fish. It was uh, due to a, a boat that had five people fishing in it, and we were all having a good time and winding on them. And 
and and I slipped and lost my balance and uh, hit the rail with my hand and my reel fell out of my hand and rod and, and went in the water. By the way, that was a brand new, brand new, tranks. never used. Oh rod no! And reel oh, oh, yeah. oh no! Yeah, yeah. I was uh, and and I saw it start to to fall away. And so you I, went in after it. Oh boy, everything on. <laughs> <laughs> and I got it. Uh, oh, you got, got it. Oh yeah, oh, I got nice. it. Nice. Got, got it. Got it. Okay. Got it, it was about, worth about it. Ten feet down, struggled, lost a flip flop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good exchange. That's great. Yeah. 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 Cell phone didn't do so well. Uh, yeah, it was a quick reaction. That's timer. hilarious. Uh, and, and then when I went to hand the rod back up onto the boat, all I saw was Rosie's arm stick over, and she said, let go, I have it. And I'm expecting to see somebody try to lift me back up. Yeah. No. No. no we she were wants all, the rod. We were well, on. We were yeah. all <laughs> yeah. And Javier was gaffing somebody else's fish, so I tried to do a, a sea lion mock entry into the back of the boat, which didn't really work out so well. <laughs> yeah, <hilarious>. that's what's <laughs> oh, but, uh, Long story short. Yeah, it, we all made it back. Gear stayed on the boat and kept fishing. So uh, that's great. That's just a, a, one of the anecdotal stories. But yeah, but just 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 how you you relax when you get there. It's yeah. just such a different vibe. It's something that you had mentioned, Rick, when we first started doing this. As you said, hey, it's a little slice of Mexico. Uh, don't change it. Yeah. yeah. Right? And so I'm going to ask you, with the experience that you had prior when we would do the drive down to Tijuana and then through Ensenada, has it, the experience gotten better? Oh no, there's no question. That's the thing. You kept all of the good, and not that any anything was bad, but Rosie hit it. Like the only thing that was frustrating was was that it was the drive in. It was it was all associated with getting there. As soon as you got to the island, like life was just perfect. perfect. Yes. But in the old days, you didn't necessarily know when the flight was going to come. It was either going to come real early or it was going to come in the mid afternoon. We had to be there early just in case. Yeah. And then the same thing going home. You didn't you didn't necessarily know the time, and you didn't know what the border was going to be like but once you're on the island life was great well rosie did what rosie does and like took care of the flights and took care of the drive and took care of the transfer and took you know just everything happens yeah i love it it's it is it is probably my most favorite place to get to go fishing yeah it's really yeah, good wonderful. times yeah it's and it's so easy now totally yeah well it was easy before but now it's, it's easier. easier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was easy before. It just took a while. Yeah. And now it doesn't. You know, now, now, it's, now it's just everything now it's is so seamless. seamless. The other cool thing is the fishing. And you can be at any level that you want yes. to deal with the fishing down there. I mean, from if you wanted to do nothing and hang out with your buds and drink a couple cold ones and troll Rapalas <laughs> all day, you would catch yellowtail until your arms fell off. Or if you want a live bait fish because you spent your whole life fishing on sport boats up here and you want to you know, have a tank full of mackerel and fly line and slow troll and fishing that way, you can do that. If you want to spend all day catching with jigs, you can do that too. And I mean, just at any, at any level, someone can participate in however they want. You can be the most hard core group of buddies and fish surface iron and plastic the whole time or just hang out and slow troll baits around and your clicker will go off all day long it's so cool yeah P pretty we, we had a gentleman two years ago that you know his friends encouraged him to to go along with us there was a spot open on their charter guy had never fished in his life he called me and says i don't even know what to expect i said bring three pairs of shorts three t-shirts a sweatshirt and a hat and some flip-flops <laughs> we'll take care of the rest and we got the rest and his buddies all brought stuff for so him. why is he bringing so many shirts i know shirts right because they do your laundry for you <laughs> they too do. Right? they do yeah but he came back he said it was the trip of a lifetime That's for so cool. him he said i had never caught a fish before and his first fish was like a 22 pound yellow tail Jeez. for someone who never caught a fish before he's like hang on here we go i said exactly <laughs> wonderful and he just he said he had the time of his life it was just pure he said it was childlike joy yeah childlike it's a, it, joy it, it, on that's christmas a, morning yeah that's couldn't a, believe it a, a that he could actually catch a fish for somebody who's a novice fisherman or a expert fisherman yeah like like cory sandin you can't oh. get him stop talking about <laughs> about cedro so yes. sport fishing yeah. yeah but for guys uh that are maybe their first trip it's it's a really great experience yeah as you can hear we have a great show lined up for you today a lot to talk about here on let's talk Hookup. yeah easy to talk about such a great island with such great people and if you want to join us we want to hear from you give us a call this morning 213-432-1090 the phones are already packed up everybody wants to talk to rosie and jeff 
Again, 213-432-1090 is how you reach us on Let's Talk Hookup this morning. And you can text the show. Lots of fun. Text us directly via the Let's Talk Hookup app. It's a free download on your iPhone or your Android device. Just search Let's Talk Hookup in your app store, and you will get hooked up with the Let's Talk Hookup app. And you can text the show. It's been a very fun way to join us. Lots of fun. It's a one-way system, so just put your name down where you're texting from, and we'll uh, we'll do our best to read as many of them as we can on the air. Or better yet, give us a call again, 213-432-1090. Not only are we talking Cedros all this morning, all are we talking to have a great time. we got really good catch reports coming up. We have also got a killer prize at the end of the show today. One lucky caller is going to win a custom handmade Anza filet knife. Oh, nice. Yeah, a really, really killer prize, and we're so proud to get to give away the best the, the best knife in the whole world, yeah. that Anza knife. We're oh, really excited. Yeah. A great prize and a great opportunity. And when we come back, we're going to be talking to you, 213-432-1090. Taking your phone calls when we return, you're listening to Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. This is Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the mightier 1090. It's a fact of life in Southern California. Hard water. And if you have a pool, your towel shows it. Here comes San Diego Pool Towel Cleaning to the rescue. With their specialized equipment, SD Pool Towel Cleaning can safely remove the stubborn calcium deposits most pool owners struggle with. SD Pool Towel Cleaning can make your tile look bright and clean, almost like new again. High-pressure pool maintenance cleaning can damage grout, stone, and dislodge tiles. San Diego Pool Tile Cleaning uses a low-pressure media blasting technique to protect your pool surface from damage and yield fantastic results. So stop making excuses for your stained tiles on your pool. Make them look like new again with San Diego Pool Tile Cleaning. Check their website at sdpooltilecleaning.com and let their professional staff rejuvenate your pool tile. When it comes to professional swimming pool tile cleaning service, there's only one name you can trust, San Diego Pool Tile Cleaning. Check sdpooltilecleaning.com. Henry David Thoreau said, Many men go fishing all their lives without knowing that it's not the fish they are after. Let me tell you, it's been one wild year, but one thing that still rings true is how nice it is to get out on the water. And at Fast Lane Kayaking, we have the tools to do it. Catch fish and social distance on the super stable and fully loaded fishing machine, the Hobie Pro Angler, now available with the Mirage Drive 360. Or explore our beautiful coastlines, bays, and lakes in comfort on a Hobie Compass or Passport. Or load up the car and hit the road with the inflatable Hobie I-11S and kayak the stunning lakes in eastern Sierra or wherever you can dream up. The Fast Lane team cannot begin to tell you how much we appreciate your business over the last 41 years. We are family-owned and operated and always have been, and we're here to help you get on the water and spread the stoke. Check out our website at FastLaneKayaking.com or stop by the shop in Dana Landing Marina right on the water in Mission Bay. Let's get out and make some memories. Gotta love California in the summer. Just remember, COVID is still with us. So if you're going to the water, plan ahead. Follow local public health guidelines and make sure everyone wears a life jacket. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. For all your insurance needs, Snap Insurance is your top choice, providing anglers and boaters with the best in boat insurance and the lowest rates. The experts at Snap Insurance will make sure your boat and property are covered right. Traveling to Mexico? Snap has you covered. Work with your agent to wrap your home and auto with your boat policy to save even more. Get advice on your current boat policy or any of your insurance needs. Snap Insurance, 800-527-6617 or snapins.com. Your San Diego County Ford dealer knows that vehicles are not one size fits all and they have a variety to choose from to suit your individual wants and needs. Looking for a truck to handle both work and play? The legendary F-150 has you covered with its military grade aluminum alloy body and high strength steel frame and smart technology. Like the available Pro Trailer Backup Assist to help you back up your boat with the turn of a dial. Or do you need a vehicle that's ready for your next adventure? The Ford Ranger is standing by. So grab your gear and let's go. This adventure ready truck has an available terrain management system that has four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Is an SUV more your speed? No problem. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have those too. The 2020 Ford Explorer has been completely redesigned inside and out and has available third row power fold seats to easily accommodate more passengers or cargo and available twin panel moonroof to let the outdoors in. Visit buyfordnow.com to learn more or visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. 
Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning, morning talking Cedro sport fishing again. If you want to get through on a busy day, 213-432-1090 is your shot. Now, another new offshoot that you have, Rosie, is La Bocana. What is that? La Bocana sport fishing. <clears throat> so this kind of came about last year. And it started when the Cedros, the runway on Cedros, was in a little bit of the, a state of disrepair. And anglers started calling <clears throat> and said, hey, we need to have another destination. Start thinking about it. Where else can you take us fishing? And people started bringing up La Bocana, La Bocana. Why don't you check out La Bocana? So um, I talked to my business partners, and it's like, hey, guys, you know, a different destination? Why not? Yeah. Something completely different. I don't want a, another Cedros. Cedros, nothing can be yeah. Don't like change no. Cedros. Okay, <laughs> um, but a completely different destination with a completely different fishing experience. And so, since La Bocana was brought up many times, we decided to go check it out. So, God bless ASG Airlines, um, which is the airline that flies you to that Cedros. flies us to Cedros. Okay, um, we've become very good friends with the owners of that company and told them, look, we're looking into this next venture. What do you guys think? And they said, we'll pick you up at the Tijuana International Airport on such and such day and let's fly down there and let's check it out together. Oh, wow. no way. So, um, so what we did is um, the we contacted the owners of the lodge, which is the La Bocana Co-op. It's the lobster and abalone co-op of La Bocana owns all the bungalows on the beach and the restaurant that's right next door to the bungalows. So we flew in one of the largest dirt runways you'll ever see. <laughs> okay. And it is 10 minutes from the lodge, if that, maybe. Jeff, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So really close again. And uh, we, we drove into the lodge and uh, checked out all the bungalows, two beds per bungalow, bathroom in there. These bungalows sit right on the Pacific Ocean. Wow. Like on the beach. Like on the and beach. And so where is La Bocana? La Bocana is about another flying time, about another half hour south of Cedros on the mainland. Okay. On, on, mainland. on, on, on Baja, not mainland. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah it's, I'm sorry. Yeah, on the Pacific on the, side. On the Pacific side. On the peninsula. Baja. On so the it's Pacific just side. kind of above. Uh, is it below Turtle Bay? Above Turtle Bay? So it's, it's about eight miles north of Abriejos. Okay, all right. So yeah. right there, the famous variety kelp that Del Marsh used to talk about, right? There that's, you go. That's where it is. That's it. Yeah, yeah it's that's right it. there, and that's the area. And so you fish in commercial pongas? Uh, so they, they have a beautiful fishery down there. They have many, many pongas. The pongas are, you actually get in the boats mm -hmm. on, on the beach, and a John Deere type of tractor literally drives you into the ocean. Oh, okay. Launch you right up. Launch That's you right cool. out oh, there, okay. and, and away you go. Oh, wow. No, it's, it's a little bit of a protected bay inlet where the estuary yeah. is. Gotcha. So you're, not, you're not going through breakers. All right. But you, you, it's, like, it's like launching a boat at Fiesta Island. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. It's, it's, it's that easy. Yeah. So yeah. you <clears throat> mentioned estuaries. Is there fishing in the estuary? Oh, yes, my. there is. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was just favorite part of fishing yeah. down there Let's was the estuary. Let's talk fishing in the estuary. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing, huh? Oh, unbelievable. Spotties and... Everything. Grouper. Triggers. Uh, we had um, Corvina. We had bass. We had grouper. We had bonefish. Bonefish. Wow. I mean, you name it, it's in there. Wow. And um, and, and then what would you catch in the ocean there? Uh, grouper, yellowtail. That's what we were targeting when we nice. went out on the outside. Nice. Uh, hit the flats. And um, really interesting scenery around there. I mean, it's flat and it's Mexico. Uh, you get outside the harbor and there's some flat spots that come up that uh, you can catch the yellows on. Uh, there's a spot that used to, don't know if it still is, but uh, some of the sport boats used to hit it. So they call that Polaris Rock because uh, obviously there was a boat usually parked on there with that name. <laughs> um, but there's places south that had some big yellows while we were fishing grouper. And uh, my recommendation when you go down there is uh, be prepared for big fish when you're trolling for the grouper. Uh, I was using my Calica 25 on, a, on basically almost a rail rod with 130 Spectra. 100 pound uh fluorocarbon leader and we were pulling the rapalas and we were we were getting stoned really <laughs> couldn't oh, stop them wow. couldn't stop a couple lost a couple uh a couple other interesting stories but uh we ended up catching a few you're allowed one a day on each boat so you know they and they, these they are broomtail the grouper 
Yeah, and golf group or two. And golf group. Okay. Yeah. Wow, right. how wow. cool. So, Fun. Yeah, we have. So that's another that's option cool that you're offering. Absolutely. Yeah. All and, right. you, know, the, you know, the thing about La Bacana, not on, it, it is family friendly. Uh-huh. We had a gentleman on Jeff's trip that brought his son, um, Emery, and Emory. I think it was nine or ten. How old was, how old was uh, Emery? Yeah, I think he's there. And, you know, just had a time of his life. Well, that's, that's great. You know, it's like in you know, the late afternoon, you know, the dolphin come into the beach, push the, the small fish up towards the beach. And so, you know, they play in the ocean with the dolphins right there. And, um, you know, the restaurant's right next door. The restaurant is amazing. Wow. Amazing. So we, the food there is incredible. Chef David, and he is a chef. He's a... a, a Trained chef. Trained yeah. chef. Wow. Um, and since, you know, the lodge and the restaurants owned by the Lobster and Abalone Co-op. Ah. Yeah, that's plenty of plenty of good seafood is what you're saying? The seafood oh. is impeccable. Wow. Like you, what great. you would get at Marine Room. Yeah. The sashimi great. abalone, the presentation, um, the scalloped tacos, the lobster i mean just oysters oysters oh, sounds is good just yeah. unbelievable <laughs> sounds amazing so well so, hey um <clears throat> and, and so there so those trips start when so we'll be starting those trips on august 15th the schedule is made if you are interested right now you're just going to need to give me a call our it guy uh chad is getting all the trips on the website for us so you guys can check out the dates but basically we're pretty open and i've got room for you give me a buzz and uh we'll get you down to la volcana all right that sounds great cool yeah. all right well let's jump into those jam pack yeah things. you got it jam- talk to rosie and jeff jam pack they are we're gonna start with don he's calling us from woodland hills this morning what's up don welcome to let's talk hookup well good morning everybody thank you for taking my call and giving me the opportunity to speak to rosie and jeff two of my favorite people in the whole world oh, oh don well right back at you thank you so so rosie and jeff um great operation down to cedros and and for anyone that is concerned about walking across the border it is like so easy and you guys make it even easier so um, I just can't speak highly enough about how, how great the trip was that I went on a couple of years ago. Um, I haven't heard you talk about the fish processing down there at the island. You might want to give everybody a clue on how great that is. Yeah, right on. You know what? When I um, first came into this organization, I went down there and uh, checked out the fish processing hut that they had and um a lot of you know that i was a fish processor for many many years and um decided to open a new fish processing facility on the island um basically everything is table ready everything will be um, bagged in about a pound pound and a half everything is labeled per species our fish processing facility is completely clean um our fish like it a lot because it is air conditioned (laughs) um so all the fish stays nice and cool they're all ice um and uh, the fish should then be frozen and it will head back uh, on the plane with you in the belly of the aircraft so, so yeah, the fish processing facility has been a huge hit. We've even had a couple of the other lodges or even just anglers on the island that call up and say, ask if we can process their fish because it is done so nicely. And, um, you know, it lasts for years. You know, believe it or not, we, we still had fish. So you vacuum on, flat pack. Everything freeze, is, yeah, yeah everything and is And then vacuum. how much fish can you bring back? You can bring back, um, I'm going to say about an average of 30 pounds, maybe a little bit more, but it's all of fillet. a filleted fish. But it's really going to depend on what you take down there. Each angler is allowed 72 pounds, 72 pounds, but that includes your tackle, not your rods, but your, your tackle and um, you know your fishing gear and clothes. So if you can get down there lightly you can get back with more fish. Trust me, you do not need your extra tough boots. For those of you <laughs> that think need you it. need them, Flip-flop. you just don't need them. Yeah. Let them stay home. Take that weight back and fish. Yeah, no question. So, And the other thing is, like, you don't need as much tackle as you think. Yeah. Remember, you're fishing on a ponga, not a long-range boat. So if, if you're... You got your your four you know, rods and reels max, max. maybe three. Yeah. All yeah, right. That's it. And you know if you're if you're out there fishing and your jig is stuck in in the kelp or on a rock, you know what that ponga captain's going to back down on it. 
And nine you're out of ten times, you're juice. not going to lose it. You're going to get it back. Yeah. You're going to get it back. Yeah. Well, not only that, there's a, there's a couple places to get tackle on the island yeah. that are pretty well stocked. Sedro's Tackle uh, is, is Jeff's place yep. on there. Sedro's Tackle. Yes. Uh, another place, Javier just opened up uh, a place. He sent me some pictures last night. Well stocked. Yeah. Um, line, Spectra, Floral. So it's not like you're going to be there and if you lose something, you can't get it. Again. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And, and they have, have the right stuff, stuff for Cedro. The, yes. You know, and they definitely have the right stuff. We were talking yeah. with Javier last night. I mean, he's got a line winder. Um, he's got he's got all the line stuff. Uh, and fluoro and mono you could need down there. There you go. And I mean, Save from, it for the fish. There mm-hmm. you go. Hey, Don, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Uh, a good text uh, via our Let's Talk hookup app from uh, Tom in San Diego. I'm not sure if you saw this one. Uh, and he has a question about rods and, 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 and tackles since we're on that subject. Uh, um, less is more, he says. Uh, can the plane handle nine-foot uh, iron rods, number one. How should the rods be packed, tubes, bags, etc.? Good question. Yeah, yeah that's a real good question. Um, we don't need uh, rod tubes on the plane. Not only not need, but don't don't want. Don't want them. Yeah. Don't want Can't them. It take takes up them. too right. much yeah. space. So what we have done, um, Jeff packs um, our fishing rods absolutely perfectly. Actually, I'm going to let you take that because you're the one that wraps them. I just take three rods and then my fly rod. Mm-hmm. So, But what I'll do is I'll just take and put them together with a zip tie and then I take a couple beach towels and I just roll it up, roll them up really quick and then wrap them with tape. And then I just take a little bit of tape with me so I can do the same thing on the return trip. So I take a a jig stick, uh, eight and a half, nine foot, and I take an inshore and then I take, um, kind of a backup rod that you can kind of do anything uh yo-yo, yo-yo bait, troll, whatever yeah, yeah. Troll, 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 a little bit different you know just in case yeah. and so three three rods reels you know set it up and and uh and you're good to go and i can usually pack for myself when i go um i can get all my gear uh less of the, the weight of the rods because they go inside the plane um usually around 26 to 28 pounds just depends okay you know? and it's and, and that's i could probably take a little less but it, you know I'm, I'm optimistic that I'm going to get broke off a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good problem, that's right? That's a good problem. Yeah, and so there's your answer on the no, you can't take a nine foot. Yeah, rod. actually, I mean, what I take about my secret not a ten foot? Oh yeah. Well, Ricky oh, does. Take a t- no, sure. Ricky yeah. does. Never been down there without it. That's my okay. favorite part about it. Yeah, All right, yeah, no problem. You can't yeah. take a ten foot. It, yeah. it might be tickling the pilot in the ear, yeah. but you know, <laughs> no, it gets a little sketchy coming up the conveyor. But it'll, yeah. but it, it'll, but it'll, it'll, it'll go. You just have to watch it going up and down the steps or the conveyor, like Ricky said. There's a few poke marks from rods that uh, people hold them straight up and down next to them, and as the conveyor goes up, the ceiling comes down kind of thing. Uh, There's been a lot of them that have been uh, bent tested, let's say. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) All right. There you go. Good good text. Totally, yeah. Well, hey, let's jump back into the phones. Let's talk to Dave. He's called us from Anza this morning. Good morning, Dave. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning there, everybody. Rosie and RH. Say, um, Good morning, Dave. You already kind of touched on the question. Yeah, kind of. You kind of touched on the question I had for you, but what I was wondering is, I used to do a lot of uh, road treks down Baja, and I remember La Bocana. I remember that big lobster operation they have going on there. Just wonder if it's still going on, and if it is, does that lobster ever find its way into the restaurant there? <laughs> okay, so Dave, you know, I'm so glad you brought this up. So yes, the lobster and abalone co-op is still there, and, and oysters too, and they are thriving. Um, I'm glad you brought up that co-op because that is where the fish is now processed for us oh, at La oh, Bocana. Okay, 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 and you talk about a great processing facility again. Again, everything is table ready. Not only do they label um, when you caught it, the angler who caught it, and the species, and then it's flash frozen. They actually have a blast freezer down there, and that fish is able to come home with you too. Um, so, um, and and also with us, the first twenty pounds of your fish is included in the all-inclusive price for La Bocana. Of, of for like, <clears throat> first 20 pounds. First, first 20 pounds finished weight. Finished weight, okay. Not like a 20-pound yellowtail, yeah. but finished weight. Okay. So that could be like maybe four yellowtail. Um, and, the, the, yeah, so the the they own that, and uh, it's alive and well. And, uh, Jeff, I want you to tell the story about when you were fishing the estuary. Oh, um we had an opportunity where they keep uh, some of the oysters that are in clusters. They can't sell them. They have to be individuals. 
And uh, our captain, uh, his nickname is Bear, funny guy, had us in stitches all day long, uh, brought some of the duck sauce, the red sauce for mixing in with oysters and some limes and some other condiments. And we pulled up on this little bag that was up on the beach of oysters and he jumped out and he just started grabbing handfuls of these clusters and throwing them on the boat. And so while we were sitting there fishing in the estuary, uh, he was making us oysters on a half shell. Wow, wow. Nice. how cool is that? And we thought we were getting treated like royalty, and we were just having a blast. And then all of a sudden, we realized all the other boats were coming yeah. in. Our group were doing the same thing. So, <laughs> it's but, for everybody. But that's, but that's how they treat you down there. Yeah, uh, lobster at the dinner a couple of times. Uh, abalone. There's fresh fish. If you want to order a hamburger or something different, you have that option. Um, great food. Just just great food. Yeah, and that's included in the package? Yeah. So I was going to ask that because it's a restaurant. So what's the... the... The restaurant is amazing. So you and, order off a menu. Well, what they try to do, since we are a group of 12, and they, they try to uh, serve you all the same thing each night. But I know there was a couple of nights, I think um, a couple people maybe wanted something different, and David was thrilled to oblige. So it's like if there was something you didn't care for, wasn't your palate, um, it made it work. You'll make, right. make you something Great. else. Great. <clears throat> hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Let's head south again, further south, down to Rancho Leonero. Talk to our buddy John Ireland. Buenos dias, John. Good morning, Pete, Rick, guests. Hey, John. Well, we're getting ready to open up tomorrow. All right. Nice. That's Yay. right. Tomorrow, Yay. right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It'll be Bet good to excited. get into a new year. Yeah. yeah. No, we are. Well, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good year, too. You know, everyone has cabin fever. Everybody wants to mm-hmm. travel. So, uh, so uh, yeah, our bookings are looking pretty good, amazingly. So I was concerned. I wasn't sure what to expect. But uh, it's looking good, you guys. It's looking good. The uh, The water's warming now. Actually, last week it was 70 degrees, and it's up to 72 now. So that's good news. And we're catching a lot of yellowtail. That's, that's the big big uh, fish this year. They're in and out. They're, <clears throat> they're not here every spring and winter, or, but but certainly this year we've had we've had a real good bite. Um, further north you go, the better the fish, and more, the more fish. Off Sarava Island, literally as many as you want. These guys are pulling in many many fish, big fish too, fifteen to sixty pounders. Some real real whoppers, some real mossbacks <clears throat> on the yellowtail. Um, a lot of Sierra in front of the hotel, right off the reef in front of the hotel. This morning, there's 11 boats out in front there uh, snagging the uh, Sierra. Real good Sierra bite early, early in the morning. We've got a lot of white bonita around, too, and, and the white bonita are plentiful, literally as many as you want, and they make really, really good sushi. So so the fishing's going on, and uh, and uh, we're looking forward to opening up tomorrow. And uh, and we got guests coming in. We have a wedding in, in uh, three days now. A big wedding, and so nice. We're excited, you guys, and I know you guys are at Cedros too to get going, huh? Absolutely ready. Yeah, yeah. So if somebody (laughs) wants to come down to Rancho Leonero, uh, I know our tournament's sold out, but there's plenty of space available around that too. And uh, somebody wants to come down. And speaking of our tournament, I want to throw out a big uh, get well quickly to Doctor Bob Bob Blum. Uh, Bob had a stroke last week, and he's doing better. Uh, he's home from the hospital, and uh, his uh, his family's taking care of him, and uh, he's coming back. Good, so, Bob. Right on. He's well, coming buddy. back strong. Yeah, so uh, d- our tournament director, co-tournament director, along with Pamela, Bob Blum. Get well, Bob. Uh, we, we need you down at Ranch right. and Arrow for sure. Yeah, we wish you Bob the best for sure. For sure. Yeah. So if somebody wants to uh, come to Rancho Leonero, I mean, there's great fishing here in the spring, summer, fall. Uh, availability is there, but you better jump on it, right? Yeah, yeah. It looks looking like it's going to be a good year, but we do have availability for sure. So come on down. We're looking forward to seeing you this year. It's 800-646-2252 or RanchoLeonero.com. All right. Thanks, John. Appreciate that. We'll talk to you next Sunday. You got it, you guys. Nice talking to y'all. See right, you, John. Thanks, John. Appreciate that. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls, more great information. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090. 
Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer resorts have become a destination for travel. Travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877 777 Tuna for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. Hey, it's time to talk about great gear from Shimano. We were talking Cedros. There is the reel that was made for Cedros is <laughs> yes. the Shimano Tranks, right? Oh, yes. Rosie's yeah. favorite. It is. I love that. Yeah. I so, love whether that. it be the 500, 400, 300, or 200, they all have a place at Cedros, Rick. You, you could easily make your entire quiver for Fish and Cedros out of the Tranks reel. I mean, from, from fire and a mackerel and slow troll or Paula up to the best surface iron casting reel. And, and I mean, fire and swim baits and weedless lures and things like that that with the 300 and 400 there Absolutely. is no better reel to fish cedros on the tranks yeah and and the ultimate it's changed the whole way people fish surface iron now with that shimano fi- tranks 500 to have a reel that can easily cast power pro you know power pro has so many advantages the only difficult thing is casting a, a really you know a big lure like a surface iron a long way with power pro it takes a very educated thumb and the tranks virtually eliminates that with the variable braking system on the left side of the spool and the perfect level line braid comes off your reel so much easier it's like a tranks 500 was made to cast power pro check it out the tranks line of reels at your local shimano dealer reliability yamaha is known for it and it's something boaters value because these days few things are built to last when we find something that is we hold on to friendships traditions outboards because every second on the water is sacred. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters choose Yamaha for the long run, for life. Because reliability starts here. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges, how do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaska... Alaskan halibut is your target. The expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfishercharters.com. Welcome back. Cook up having a great time here this morning talking Cedros, talking Lobo Cana. This has got me so fired up to go fishing. I can't even stand it. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> me too. I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ray, Rosie's ready. Jeff's ready. Oh, um, Jeff, I think... <laughs> Jeff's got like three or four trips this year. Yeah. So. Good. Smart that's man. not enough. That's not enough. Oh, my Lord. That's not enough, Rosie. Come on. Oh, and he was he was talking to Javier last night about the, the Yellowtail tournament. They are going to have the Yellowtail tournament. Oh, oh they are. Great yeah. news. Yes. Okay. And so, of course, Jeff and a couple of buddies will be fishing that together. We, we got to better our mark than what we did two years ago. So, Which was? Uh, we had second. It wasn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And what's it take to take second in a yellowtail tournament, Cedros? Um, persistence, uh, a knowledgeable skipper. Uh, you better be in shape uh, unless you're, you know, if you're going to troll a bait. But we threw iron, and we figured we threw probably close to uh, three to 400 times. 
Ooh. per person. And how big were your fish? Um, we had some that were in that 40 range. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yellows? What a treat. Yeah. And the yeah. first day, we actually we broke off some big fish. We only had... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like, a 40-pounder is not a big fish? Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Did you catch well, that? Well, and we're only fishing in 40 feet of water where we were at, too. Wow. And so we got, we got hammered a couple of times, but uh, we didn't even catch our limit the first day because we... We had big fish, but we were broke off so many times. The guys that were trolling Rapalas in 100 feet of water were, were catching smaller fish, but they were getting their limits. Mm-hmm. So we figured the first day we were out. And so we went out with the attitude of the next day, we're just going to go out and have fun. And uh, we found a spot of fish that came up, and they were very big. And we were, we were done with our limit for the tournament at 940 in the morning. We were the first boat back. We weighed, and we sat there and drank beer and just watched to see if anybody would catch us. And at the end of the day... Um, somebody that had their limit the first day, had their limit the second day, and they beat us by uh, oh, 14, 14 pounds. Yeah. 14, wow. Yeah. And the other thing is you have to be really careful because on on our my pond, because Jeff and I didn't fish together in the tournament, we decided, oh, you know, that 18-pounder or that 15-pounder the first day, we threw it back in hopes of getting into those 40 pounds. Oh, because you can only weigh five fish? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You're li- right. 15 fish per boat. So, you know, we should have kept those. We ended up in fifth, and I think we would have gone maybe fourth or even third if we would have kept the fish that we threw back. Ha! So, so, oh, darn. Oh, darn. Such, yeah. such a difficult oh. problem. And, and you know the really neat thing about that whole tournament is all the fish that are caught are all donated to the city the town of Cedros, and there's a big, giant potluck. They cook it. You get in line. You can eat with the locals. Oh, uh, cool. It is, it is awesome. The local people there are so great. Oh, and, yeah. You know, and another little pat on the back for our Ponga captains. We had, um, there were 35 or 36 Pongas in the tournament, and we placed first, fifth, eighth, and ninth. No, no, the th- we didn't have. We only had three in we the. Had po- we had three. We we placed first, fifth, and eighth. Nice. So For we're in fish. the top ten. Nice. For large That's fish, great. Yeah. Well, well, hey, and- let's find out what's biting out there. You the got- catch report is here. You got it, man. And today it's sponsored by the Fish Pros of Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. Not only do they offer the best processing for your fish when your trip returned to the San Diego landings, as well as your private boat catch, but now with Fish Pros, the market, you can purchase fresh fish, you can buy smoked and jerkied fish, their spices, rubs, smoked cheese, and their famous tuna burger. Also, check out that amazing poke kit. Call for details or order online at fishermansprocessing.com. We're going to start up at Dana War Sport Fishing. Talk to the man, Captain Brian Woolley's on the line. What's up, Woolley? Hey, good morning, guys. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning man. All right. Let's One more love, day, love. right? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely. We're, uh, we're looking forward to that. No doubt about it. For sure. So this week, you know, uh, the sunshine that we had all week really helped things on our half-day scene, our bass fishing in the shallow reef areas, which is kind of where we've been fishing, way inside, like two, three fathoms of water. It was a little bit more productive as a result. Some fish on the rubber lures this week, uh, guys rolling those along the bottom or ripping them quick across the surface, had a couple bites, uh, some sardine fish as well on the live bait there. Some nice catch and release, too, went on this week on the sheephead. But, again, looking forward to uh, <clears throat> the calendars that flips there tomorrow for sure. That stuff will end up in the bags and going home with our passengers. Three-quarter day fishing. You know, I'm, I, I'd be lying if I'd say saying that we weren't very fortunate to have that sculpt and the lean on for the last two months. We're stoked to kind of be able to shift gears here as we uh, roll through next week. So we've seen some really good sun on that rockfish out in those deep areas there out off of uh, Camp Pendleton in North County there. Quite a bit of anchovy and red crab in these areas this week. I think that was a result of uh, quite a bit of current that was pushing down the beach. That full moon, I think, moved a lot of stuff around. But uh, we're seeing really good sign on that rockfish. We were busy this week as well, sending fish back down that were caught, uh, you know, as bycatch there while we were fishing that sculpin. So we're looking forward to that on those three-quarter days. Uh, just a reminder as well, the Fury, he has his March dates up. You can go online and see what those dates are for the month of March. He'll be fishing over at San Clemente Island on his uh, overnight trips there. And those the new depth regs, you know, it's looking like some fresh new opportunities on the rockfish over there as well. And it sounds like there's some squid over there this week. Uh, I think there's going to be some shots at some hotel there as well. So he'll, he'll certainly have good good report uh, on that as we uh, roll through the week. And I'll also put it out there. Uh, we have an, a cool four-pack boat here called the Lexi. It's a 26 foot Anderson. He's got open party uh, four-pack trips fishing Clemente Island on Saturdays in March. So uh, if you guys want to hop on a 
light load four pack type operation. Captain Christian there on the Lexi runs a solid operation. He's going to be running over there, leaving early in the morning, jamming over there and fishing and getting home pretty quick there in the afternoon too. So that's pretty much it for us for the week. Uh, call the landing, make those reservations. Uh, we'd love to take you fishing this week. Our phone number here is 949-496-5794. Of course, you can link us there through the Let's Hot Cook Up website. Jam on over there and uh, book online from there. All right. Sounds Sick. like a great time. Sounds, oh boy, it's happening. It's here. Fishing, fish are biting, and it's it's the season for sure. Thanks a lot, Captain Brian Woolley, Dana War Sport Fishing, and we will talk to you next Sunday. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Thanks. Can't wait to listen to more of this Yelltail stuff. I got a I got a 14-year-old son that's been in my ear to get down there to say so, uh, oh, yeah. There you go. Willie, this would be Call so Rosie. up your alley, it's not even funny. Hey, you know what? There's two spots open on the Let's Talk Hook of July trip. <laughs> there you go. July 5 through uh, yeah. 9. Yeah, I don't know if I can sneak away from uh, my program here in July. That's that's almost. <laughs> yeah, hey, you don't got well, anything could, going on in July. Go in June. You? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to look at the calendar for sure. So there you go. We'll look at it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Willie. Appreciate right. that very much. Let's continue with our catch sport and hit the surf. Our surf fishing extraordinaire, Gundy Gunderson's on the line. What's up, Gundy? Hey guys, how's it going this morning? We're doing great, buddy. Boy, you want to talk about a place that Gundy would go wild, getting some surf fishing, be down at that La Bocana. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, I hear there is some surf fishing down there, huh? Yeah. In fact, you may have been down there with Del Marsh at one time, right? Oh, many years ago, yeah. Well, That's let's it. talk about what we got going on in the surf here. You know, we've had the windy days. Fishing continues to trend better, though, as we move towards spring. The perch bite continues strong, but really haven't seen any of the larger <clears throat> excuse me, spawners yet. Good numbers of yellowfin croakers showed this week. Shallow water rockfish on those northern beaches and a few catches of calico bass. A lot of reports of bait shallow, and that probably has a lot to do with this. And the halibut bite continues to improve. Lots of fish showed this week. Uh, more shorts than legals, but <clears throat> the movement to shallow water is definitely what we want to see. Uh, hook, line, sinker reported decent bark perch fishing. The fish have been hard to find with consistency with the wind. You know, the weather's been the main factor. Most of the fish have been under a pound with a few over. Uh, Galoo Beach, East Beach, Carpinteria have been the most consistent spots up there. And on the reef beaches, good numbers of shallow water rockfish, chocolates, Johnny Bass, uh, grass rockfish, things like that. Uh, Wiley's held an uptown derby on Saturday. Uh, the group found scratchy fishing for mostly smaller models up there on Ventura, Oxnard, Point Magoo, is the areas they covered. They did get a few good ones. A one pound, 13 ounce barred perch won the derby. Uh, the fish took an MS anchovy pattern, flash minnow, fished off Ventura there. Uh, the best bite, those guys said, was early in the morning. It was a 6.1 incoming tide, and that incoming tide was the deal. Uh, the guys still felt a little early for the spawns, not seeing any spawners yet. Another shop regular had a good day on Friday off Coral Beach there. Took seven calico bass from 15 to 18 inches. Boy, that's what we call nice. a honey hole. Also had four grass rockfish in there. You know, and they say it's just catchy fishing. You go in on a beach, it might not be happening. A few days later, it might be happening. You just got to keep it honest and check the spots. A big fish reported. Uh, mostly smaller perch, uh, exception of 13 and a half inch, okay. uh, barred perch on a flash minnow, really nice fish there. Lots of halibut showing there. Shoreline drive's been a good area. And then Oceanside Way, uh, in the shop there, they had a 22, 25, 26, 29 inch legal halibut, all taken off the beaches on flash minnows. So nice showing on the halibut. We haven't seen that spawn yet, but, boy, it's all just around the corner, Pete. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jeez. yeah. Gundy Gunderson, surf guru extraordinaire. Thanks a lot. Great report, as always, and we will talk to you next Sunday. Have a nice week. Enjoying the show. All right. You too. Thanks. See, right, appreciate that. See you, Gundy. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up our catch sport today. Hey, want to remind you, the 2021 Bill Varney CCA calendars are now available at all tackle shops and Turner's Outdoorsmen, or you can purchase online from surffishtackle.com. Get yours today, not only for the killer photographs, but like that is the best tide chart oh, around. Like, I don't know, question. I don't know what I would do without having that uh, Bill Varney CCA Absolutely. calendar. That's how I check tides. It's a, it's a great one. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk hookup coming your way. A lot more of your phone calls. We got. Great text lined up. You stay tuned. Lots of great information. This is Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the mightier 1090. 
If you're looking for a high-quality cocktail that's also easy to enjoy on your next fishing trip, check out Cutwater Spirits' lineup of canned cocktails. Cutwater's master distiller and co-founder, Yusuf Cherney, is a hardcore fisherman. In fact, he developed Cutwater with all his favorite adventures in mind. Yusuf takes Cutwater's award-winning spirits, uses them to make real cocktails, and then puts them into cans so you can take them anywhere. It's like they were made for fishing because they were actually made for fishing. Check out their popular canned margarita made with real tequila, the zesty vodka mule, or the spicy Bloody Mary, which has some serious bite. They also make super refreshing vodka sodas in grapefruit, lime, and cucumber flavors. Just crack the can and enjoy a bar-quality cocktail even when there's no bar in sight. Back at the dock or at your evening Anchorage and Catalina, Cutwater cocktails are exactly what you need for your next fishing trip. You can check out all 18 of Cutwater's canned cocktails at cutwaterspirits.com and then look for them at your local liquor store. Then go ahead and set your cocktail free. Please enjoy responsibly. A top fleet and superb fishing is what Seaforth Sport Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, it's no wonder Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, El Gato Dos, Pride, Tribute Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth, Sea Watch, and San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or regular open parties, schedule check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Long Range Vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the long range fishing experience. Spring 8 day, summer 5 day, or a fly down, fly back 11 day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality long range voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top of the line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619 224 4764. Your San Diego County Ford dealer knows that vehicles are not one size fits all and they have a variety to choose from to suit your individual wants and needs. Looking for a truck to handle both work and play? The legendary F-150 has you covered with its military grade aluminum alloy body and high strength steel frame and smart technology like the available pro trailer backup assist to help you back up your boat with the turn of a dial. Or do you need a vehicle that's ready for your next adventure? The Ford Ranger is standing by. So grab your gear and let's go. This adventure ready truck has an available terrain management system that has four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Is an SUV more your speed? No problem. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have those too. The 2020 Ford Explorer has been completely redesigned inside and out and has available third row power fold seats to easily accommodate more passengers or cargo and available twin panel moonroof to let the outdoors in. Visit buyfordnow.com to learn more or visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Seakeeper, the leader in marine stabilization, has launched its newest, smallest, and most radically different model, the Seakeeper 1. Now, for the first time, stabilization is available for boats as small as 23 feet. The Seakeeper 1 is designed to eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on vessels 23 to 30 feet. With a fresh new look, the Seakeeper 1 has a compact flush mount installation and runs on 12-volt battery power. Installation is a breeze. It can fit under almost any seat. Now your skiff can enjoy the comfort and enjoyment that only a Seakeeper equipped boat can provide. Check out the Seakeeper demo boat at upcoming shows and arrange a free test drive. Seakeeper has changed the lives of many Southern California anglers, including Pete Gray, and will allow you to stay on the fishing grounds when others need to head back to port. Visit Seakeeper.com slash take a ride to arrange a demo. Eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on your trailer boat. Seakeeper. Once you feel it, you'll never boat without it. Shimano has done it again. An amazing lever drag two speed reel at an affordable price. It's Speedmaster 2. The extremely durable high performance Speedmaster 2 with high maximum drag power and a smooth ultra wide range of drag adjustability is an absolute fish fighting machine. Its rigid Hagani body prevents misalignment of moving parts under the heaviest loads. Plus, a spare drag cam is included for optimal use with monofilament lines. The Speedmaster is now available in four models, 12, 16, 20, and 25. This is the perfect reel for the angler looking for a powerful, lightweight, smooth casting reel for tuna or other powerful saltwater game fish at a more affordable price. Nothing in its class can match the Shimano Speedmaster 2, built to provide high-end performance and dependability in a compact, lightweight frame. Get the Shimano Speedmaster 2 lever drag reel at your local Shimano dealer. Check Shimano.com for all the details. 